Are you confused about your contractions? Maybe you were even sent home from the hospital like I was at 36 weeks with padromal labor. Hey Fearless Mamas, my name is Dancy Pinkston and today we are going to talk about Braxton Hicks contractions versus padromal labor. Your body will usually not go from zero to 60 into labor with no rev up. Okay, so picture the shifting from pregnancy to birth as the slow, gradual buildup of speed. Or in the birth world, it is called frequency, duration, and intensity. And so with lots of thought, I like to call this rev up time prodromal labor. It is definitely this in between land that can be so confusing and so frustrating. So just know you are not alone. So let's talk about Braxton Hicks contractions. They are practice contractions that are irregular and do not get closer together over time. Braxton Hicks are usually like this weak little contraction and they get weaker and then disappear. So the key word for this is unpredictable. They are super unpredictable and many things can trigger them. However, each woman's experience is different, but I give my best explanation on what Braxton Hicks contractions feel and look like in this video right here. But moving on, Braxton Hicks contractions are present in all pregnancies. Most women become aware of these at the third trimester, and some women are even aware of them as early as the second trimester. So if that's you, there's no need to worry because Braxton Hicks contractions do not result in dilation of the cervix. They are literally your uterus just practicing and getting stronger for labor. So let's talk about prodromal labor. So prodromal labor comes from the Greek word precursor. So we could say the precursor to labor. It is practice labor and good news, it isn't for nothing. It is in some way, shape or form, strengthening your uterus, building the top of the fundus and getting you to that next step. Your birth will be here before you know it. <laughs> but there's no rush really because padromal labor can last or come for days and even weeks before true labor begins. Let's talk about this though. So the first several months of pregnancy, the hormone progesterone inhibits contractions. It has like this uterine calming effect to it. But at weeks 36, 37, your progesterone levels take a pretty big dip, making the uterus more sensitive, possibly to cervical checks. Um, and causing some uterine irritability, things like that. And some women may even feel the decreasing levels of progesterone as a tad stronger and different feeling than Braxton Hicks contractions. But let me know in the comments below what you felt your prodromal labor was like because I need your input on my next video on what prodromal labor feels like. So the key word for prodromal labor is irregular. So Braxton Hicks were unpredictable, padromal labor is irregular. So they can have contractions about two minutes apart, five minutes apart, eight minutes apart, back to two, 10, sometimes 30, and drop back down to five. It's super irregular super confusing and emotionally exhausting. And they can be sporadic like this for hours, usually at the same time of the day or night, and then stop to pick back up the next day, usually around the same time as previous. Meanwhile, a big combination of things starts the oxytocin labor cycle and kicks you into early labor. But even early labor can last a long time, even up to 20 hours for the first time mom. And a helpful little tip is that early labor is usually coupled with about two to three other signs along with contractions. So like losing your mucus plug, bloody show, breaking your waters, diarrhea, things like that. Usually two to three of those all at once with your contractions. But if you're wanting to know more about early labor signs, check out this video right here. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.